Hey babes, I'm back with another nail video. If you like this Valentine's Day look, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so of course I'm using my dynamic nail supply tips with the C-curve. They have ones without the C-curve as well. I'll make sure that I link it in the description uh, where you can purchase it. I actually went into the uh, local store here in Houston and I am going to apply those tips on the fingers. Now, let me tell y'all, the devil tried to get me today. And y'all gonna see, by the grace of God, I got finished with this nail, <laughs> with this set, y'all. But it was a pain in the you-know-what. So, now that we have the tip supplied, we're gonna go through. We're going to shape them. You can use the hand file. Y'all know my motto as far as why I use the drill. It's easier, and I feel like everybody needs to learn how to use the drill eventually so you can preserve your body so go ahead and shape the nails um that is the shape that i wanted and i just thought that was so satisfying for some reason wiping the dust off the back of the nail so that's the reason why you're watching it too sis <laughs> now look this is what a devil look the devil tried me y'all i was so disappointed i was doing like a little custom kind of acrylic mixture and yeah spilled it off so whatever I had left, I went ahead and used it. And look again, trying to get me. Whew, acrylic running away from me. It was just one of those days. And that's the reality of it, guys. Like Some of these videos aren't going to be picture perfect. And just like some of your days, some of your clients are not going to be perfect. You know, you might have a bad day. You might have a day that everything just seems to go wrong. So I don't want to exclude my days from my channel you know because i definitely have them too so we're still gonna go and push through um like i would hope and expect you guys to just push through because you can overcome and you can still achieve great things no matter what your day is looking like so don't let him get your girl because he ain't gonna get me but y'all gonna see it's a lot of hiccups in the video i will try to uh call out or correct the ones that i left in but yeah it's just the imperfect day of getting the job done so yeah i'm gonna go in with the uh acrylic and just fill in the full nail as you can see here we go i switched it because i didn't like the white kind of look that's not the look i was going for so um i was gonna polish it red anyway i was like let me just go ahead and try my red acrylic and uh kind of just add that on and see how i like that so it is kind of lumpy and bumpy because of the acrylic that is underneath but of course i will smooth that out afterwards my goal was just to get the red on there without it leaking so here i am with the pink little mixture that i made that flipped over and i'm adding um just some pinks and some nudes and just playing around with the kind of marble kind of look and i'm just going to pretty much keep building on to that until i get the desired look that i'm going for for that nail also let me note that the nails are thin on purpose okay guys like again this is for the video i'm just trying to get the design on so you guys can see so I can pop the nails off. The last time I made them thick, y'all, they wasn't going nowhere. I had to literally soak them off. So we're not doing that no more, sis. So of course, the longer that you go on the nail, make sure that you build up the nail so it can be sturdy. And um, also make sure that you build the apex as well if you're doing this on a client. So that's just a disclaimer. Don't come for me for how thin nails are and the apex and all that other stuff. I know what I'm doing, sis just just make sure that you do it the proper way once you are applying it on a client's nails um but for this purpose i just want to put a thin coat on here so i can show y'all the um design look at me i couldn't even hold my finger straight y'all y'all pray for me y'all but anyway like i said um just for design purposes i made it this thin so i can pop it off so let me uh stop talking Y'all see that I am still building up, so I'll get back with you when I'm done building that nail up, girl. Yeah, 
Okay, so with this nail, <laughs> again, it was a little custom situation. And then I put this little Dollar Tree glitter. Y'all, it's pretty, but it's not good enough in my opinion. Look, it looks dirty. It doesn't look like the type of chunky glitter that I wanted to actually stand out in the mix. So we're going to eventually change that y'all but mm -mm -mm. no ma'am so yeah uh that's how they came out <laughs> one of those days i'm in my head just cussing like why is it not working like the look that i'm going for is not even worth working like i knew i wanted to do valentine's day nails but i didn't have a specific like look i was just kind of trying to go with how i feel but since I'm not kind of feeling good today, girl, it's showing. <laughs> it's showing, y'all, but I didn't give up. Okay, so here's kind of like a pink-ish kind of acrylic. And I just got this from my local beauty supply store. Uh, not beauty supply store, the nail store um, here in Houston, Texas. So y'all can kind of play around with whatever colors that y'all want. Just make sure that it looks cohesive and um, don't worry about if it doesn't come all together because you can you know change it now it kind of look cute right there but nah after i was done with it i was like mm, let's let's change this a bit so all the other nails i thought was cute but that one so i'm gonna go in with my red gel polish and i'm going to cover that middle finger up and i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds Y'all know I had to get a quick TikTok in. Follow me at The Dip Life. I just hit 1 million views on one of my videos. So I'm so excited. Go and check me out, y'all. Okay, so now it's time to add on the stones. Y'all use some uh some builder gel. Or use um some stone glue or something like that. Don't be like Chad, okay? Because I was just using the gel top coat which is why I was fighting with the gems and the stones so much because it wasn't any really like any thickness to pick up and like keep the stone secured. Of course, it's going to secure after I cure it. But while I'm trying to put it on, it's going every which way. It just was running for my life, child. It was running for my life and I was getting so frustrated. But I'm just going to go ahead and do a little quick design with the stones you can do it however you choose um because these nails are long i wanted it to be kind of like a larger type of design to cover a good amount of the nail i didn't want to just sit up at the top because when you got long nails you got a lot of space so when you don't put anything like on the nail and you just keep it at the top it don't it don't be giving what it's supposed to give sis you know we need it like ba ba boom like that so yeah, I'm just going to um, play around and look at the different angles to make sure that it looks right. And I like that little pinky. So um, I wanted to do enough, but not the most. So here I am again, struggling with these stones. Again, remember what I said about build a gel or stone gel or Gorilla Glue. Uh, make sure it's the gel. That works amazing. And I need to go and get me some once I leave the house. But see, I'm struggling. Put one on and it falls back off. It did work for me, but, you know, I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. So if I can help y'all out, I'm all for it. So the glue did work and the uh, gel top coat worked too, but it was like a pain. It took a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Kind of play around with the stones on this finger until I have a good pattern and design that I am satisfied with. Whoa, whoa, where your brains go? Trying to get that picture with me, better kiss.
Catch my angles. Catch my angles. Bitch, these diamonds dancing on me like they tangles. Girl, it took me forever to get it done, but it's finally done with the stone placements. Now I'm going to go in with the gel top coat and I'm going to go around the actual stones and apply the shine to the polish and the rest of the nail. You don't want to get the gel top coat on the um, stones because they will kind of change and they won't shine as bright. We don't want that stuff. We want it to look right. So go ahead and put the top coat on all the rest of the nails and cure that for 60 seconds. And these are how they're looking. I started getting so excited. You see? There is a rainbow at the end of every tunnel, girl. Okay, now I showed y'all the little fuzz ball. It is a magnet. Um, you would probably want to use the stone gel for this too or build a gel. But I just use regular glue and look, girl, it just slid right on off. But hold it there for a couple of seconds um, and then cure it. And it stayed right on for me. Um, so I'm just pulling it apart so you can see how it looks. And you just pop that bad boy on. And there it is. And y'all, I screamed. I love it. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so in love. Like, it, it, the struggle was worth it, y'all. Um, so make sure that you, if your clients is washing their hands and stuff like that, that girl, take the, take the fur ball off, okay? So with that last nail that I had no idea what I wanted to do, I ended up just saying, let me try to put like some glitter on top of it. And girl, look how it looked. No, no, it was not giving, no, it wasn't giving me glam. It was giving me like, I, I'm not going to say what I wanted to say, but it was, it, it didn't look of quality. It looked cheap. So I went ahead and took that off and was like, you know what? Keep it simple, girl. You got enough going on. So I went ahead and matted it out. And y'all, didn't that just come together nicely? Like, I didn't think anything else was needed on it because, you know, you want to do just enough with these type of glam Valentine's Day nails. And I absolutely loved them. So, if you like this video, please comment, share, subscribe. Turn on your notifications for the next video. I am trying to upload them every day. Um, and if you have any other requests like any nail designs or colors that i should do next then let me know y'all know since i do the pop-off method i'm showing y'all how easy it is to pop them off so that's what we're doing here and i'm kind of considering starting to do press-ons so y'all let me know if y'all interested in um, in press-ons or purchasing press-ons or anything of that sort and we're gonna get that going too we'll add some of those to the channel Thanks so much again for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.